Okay guys, so here are the newest bubble bars that I'm going to be listing hopefully today on my Etsy. Um, if not, you know, over the next couple days. But these are the newest ones. And this one I is the one that I did the demonstration on. Um, this is called tie-dye. And this one is a um, a lot of bright colors. There's green in there and yellow and blue. And then that's purple. It looks like it's coming up blue on the camera to me, but it's actually uh, very purple, very bright purple around the edge. So that one is tie-dye. And that one is a very, it has a, um, like a, it's definitely very incense-y, you know, but it also has a somewhat soapy note to it too. So it's kind of like a clean incense type. Um, and I was very happy with it. One quarter of a bar uh, colored the water lightly, left tons of bubbles, um, and left a light lingering of scent on my skin. This one here is my Once Bitten fragrance. And that's that one there. And this one here is very dark, 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 um, pinkish red with um, white swirls there. And that one is a nice, uh, I love this scent. This scent is very bubbly, sweet, cherry, soda pop type. <laughs> um, I just love this scent. It's a, everyone that smells this really loves it young and old. That is an awesome scent. Um, this one here, um, actually I'll do this one last. Um, this one here is, um, I call this Cali Girl. And this one is very bright yellow and bright pink. I was going to call it California Girls, but I was... I hand stamp my names out on my labels and I was like I don't want to have to stamp that whole thing out so I call it Cali girl and um, this one is uh, this one is a really really citrusy kind of sweet very bright pungent fun fun scent I love this scent it's it's really really nice very upbeat and, and cool um, and this one here is Butt Naked, which I is just, you know, it's the Butt Naked fragrance. I call it Butt Naked. And this one is a very dark teal and a very bright, slightly orangish yellow there swirled in. And so these, all of my bubble bars are vegan. Um, all of them so far have are vegan and the only one I've made so far that is not vegan is this one here and this one is called um, this one is goat's milk and honey and that's because it does have goat's milk and real honey in it so um, this one is it also has just a little bit of lanolin oil in it too so it's very not vegan um, so this one here is, oh, I love the scent of this one. It's so, to me, it's like so comforting, soothing. It's like kind of toffee, caramelly, honey with that goat's milk undertone. And oh, I, I really love this one. It's a, and that one's going to be really, really good for your skin. Um, if you, you know, with the honey and the goat's milk and the added lanolin, very, very moisturizing to your skin. So that one's the only one so far that's not vegan. And these will all be on Etsy. Um, my my bubble bars, I will make sure that if they any of them are not vegan, that I make it clear on the, the listing that they're not vegan. Um, you know, so these you'll probably find listed under, you know, Bath and Beauty and then um, under Bubble Bars. And if they have a vegan option, then it will have ve vegan under it. But this one will not. And I'll make sure to plainly make it very clear that it contains goat's milk and honey and lanolin. So therefore, it's not vegan. Um, 
but yeah so look for those to be listed on my Etsy here tonight or the next day or so and um, thanks so much for watching guys take care have a great day bye bye